What I have here is a tiny drawer which I removed from a tiny table as it wasn't practical. So it looks very much like a drawer, but I thought I could turn it into an assemblage piece. Along with it, I want to use this vintage photo here, which I got from an old book. It was taken in the 1800s. I love the image and I want to use it as more or less a background. I also want to include some glass elements like these tiny bottles I have here. I also took apart some droppers, which actually didn't work very well. So I will be using the glass part of them. I also have three tiny oval cardboard boxes. So I start by cutting my picture to size. Now it's not quite wide enough. So whatever I cut off on the bottom, I will add to the side to make it fit for me. Now before I glue it down, I add some black gesso just to the sides and the front of the little box. And then I use my Mod Podge mat to add the photo. Now at this point, my plan is to keep this assemblage very simple by only adding very few elements. So my process is going to be very easy to follow. All the mediums I will be using, I will put in the captions like always. So please enjoy some music and I will talk to you towards the end. Now this is a rather quick and simple version of an assemblage with few elements, but I believe it gives it a unique look and I like the way it came together. Here on the left side you can still see the images of the girls behind the glass and of course the colors as well. Same goes here for the other side. I positioned everything in a way that the main picture is still very easy to see. I really like it. I think it's so cool. I like the title here on the top 
The tiny oval boxes together with the decorations gave it some more dimension and of course an interesting focal point. Thanks so much for coming and bye bye for now.